Do you feel as bad as you look? Oh, worse. But, you know, thanks for the compliment. Are you going to your support group this morning? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Right. Oh. Oh. Right, listen to me. Mm. Come here. Mm. OK. Like I said last night, I can't fight for our relationship and the factory. Someone's got to give, so... Later on today, that factory's gonna be gone. How am I worth it? Simon hates me. Simon loves you. Yeah, right. We'll get that sorted soon enough. I promise. All right? But let's just get through today and... then we can start getting the rest of our life back on track, can't we? Thank God for Jenny, eh? Yeah, speaking of which, she wants to see me. It's gonna be all right, you know. I don't know why you think so much of me. Because I believe in you, Peter Barlow. And what's more, I believe in us. I wouldn't be selling my factory otherwise, would I? First day of the rest of our lives. First day of the rest of our lives. Good boy. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> seen the time he went hours ago and he's coming home with me tonight it's a good job i'm not waving a naked flame around what oh flipping streets it go up the amount of alcohol that's coming off your breath at the moment i've got two words to say to you peter barlow deja vu don't you look down your nose at me peter if you've been drinking again, you're in no fit state to be looking after Simon. And you're related to him, how? I'm not listening to you, Peter. There's no blood link. Is everything all right, Deirdre? Yeah. Well, you mind your own business. Thank you. So, another 20,000 units. That's amazing. So, you better not be backing out on me, lady. <laughs> you signing your life away from Frank when? This afternoon. Brilliant. You're definitely going to do it. You won't let me down. I've really stuck my neck out here. You shouldn't even need to ask me that. You know what it's done to me. And you've been incredible, so yes, I will let you know when I sign those papers. Nice one. Right, ladies. See ya. Thanks for the coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, she's here now. Clams to the slaughter. Better go. Rolling in at lunchtime, glad you could make it. Carla, I wish you'd reconsider my offer, you know. You'd be better off out of this place, better for your mental health. Oh, I'm not mental. However, I will accept your offer. Really? Well, I think it's the best thing. For both of us. Oh, come on, do not all coy and caring. You know this is killing me. We don't have to go through with it? I'm sure we can uh, find a rhythm, you know, to work together. I want the deal sorted ASAP. My solicitor's already drawn up the contracts. <laughs> we can sign them this afternoon if that works for you. It does. Okay. Okay, well, um, good luck in your future ventures. Got to send some emails. Of course. What with you ladies? Do you know where Sally is, Mrs. Connor? Never mind, Sally. Right, I've got an announcement. What's going on? Uh -huh. Well, I never thought I'd see the day, and I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but, um, ladies, I'm selling out to Frank. I'm sorry. So from now on, he will be your sole boss. I don't feel good about it. I'm not getting any happiness from it. But, um,. Well, I'm just sorry if you feel like I've let you down in any way. We don't feel like that, Mrs. Connor. Thanks, Haley. I took this place over from Paul and Liam. And we've got a lot of memories here, haven't we? I hope you understand that, um, I have to do this. 
and I hope you understand what I mean. When I say that, I just can't work with him anymore. Okay? I'm really sorry. No, I'm the one that's sorry, Carla. Well, don't be. He's won! No, he thinks he has. How do you mean? Look, I know I'm selling at a ridiculously low price, but I've managed to get a massive order with Jenny Sumner. And that's more than going to make up for it, believe me. Right, that's that bit done. Girls are told, now for stage two. You haven't. What? You have. Why are you talking Thank riddles? you. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Look. I had an argument with Deirdre. She was out of order. Oh, I can't imagine why. And to top it all off, you listen to this, right? You're not going to believe this. The Gambling Commission are trying to take me license of me because apparently I don't know how to run my own business. And what the flaming hell is that supposed to mean? You know what it means. Yeah, well, don't mean I can't be act off about it. I can't deal with this, Carl. I can't. This is just doing me head in. OK. It's all right. OK. Now, listen. What we'll do is we'll just get through today and we'll start afresh tomorrow, all right? Yeah, OK. And when you sign them papers this afternoon, I'm going to come with you. No, no, Peter, you. you're drunk. No. I'll go on my own. Right. Oh, here we go. Showtime. Shall we just get this over and done with it? I thought you might have arrived mob handed. Apparently, I did. You all right? I believe we have a deal to sign. Hey. She wants to talk to him, not a glamorous assistant. Lovely to see you, too. Yeah, let's just not bother with the pleasantries, eh? Whatever Lola wants. Hey! Her name's not Lola, right? Just need your autograph here and, um, here. Oh! Well, if it's not giving us work in the future, I think we should just down tools. Two flipping right. Look, will you not stop panicking? Right, I happen to know for a fact that Callum has got work for all of us once she gets this order from her mate. Who's her mate? Jenny. She's going to bring a load of orders. Carl as well. It's brilliant. Jenny? Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah and I'm talking the sort of orders that are going to keep her in business for ages. So just wait till she starts recruiting. It'll be any day now. Jenny Sumner. Ooh. Michelle, Jenny is no friend of Carla's. Yes, she is. Jenny and Frank are seeing each other. They've been sleeping together. This is some sort of a scam. You are joking. Ah, there is nothing about that man that I find the slightest bit amusing. I've got to stop Carla from signing that contract. I don't get it. Well, it looks like someone's double-crossed Carla. So we won't have a job? Yeah, of course she wouldn't sell the factory if she didn't think we had any work to go to. Oh, poor Mrs. Connor. Pleasure doing business with you. I've hated every minute of it. And you've hated me every minute. But still... You shut off me now, aren't you? And see this? It's officially a smile. Carla! Carla! What's wrong? You all right? No, don't sign the papers. She already has. Oh, you're vile, Frank Foster. Vile. I signed him because I want red. Anyway, you don't know what I've got up my sleeve. Oh, I'm sure he's fast enough. There's something you need to know. No, there's something he needs to know, actually. You see, Frank, I've won. Have you? Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something else. I am so going to stick it to you where it hurts, because with this money, I am setting up my own rival factory. Sorry, is this going to take long? Why don't you got... wipe that false smile off your face? You know, I've got one glittering order to kick it all off with. I don't think you have, darling. I know you haven't. Don't spoil it for me. What's going on? Have you met my new partner? Oh, hi, Carla. I think you'll find that there is no order. No. The icing on the cake? Underworld is mine. I'm 
will be back in Coronation Street in half an hour.